Is it on? Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yasmin. If you're new here, I do lifestyle, fashion, and beauty videos. Happy New Year. Happy 2020. I can't believe it. 2019 ended just the other day and for it to be 2020 already, mind blowing. Anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing year, an amazing decade. So welcome to my first video of the year. I wanted my first video of the year to be one that is a little bit a self-development type of video. I know you guys asked me what my favorite podcasts are. I've talked about podcasts on this channel before, but not so much. But I just wanted to share with you guys a few of my favorite podcasts that got me through the year last year and the ones that I'm planning to take with me on into the new year. So without much further ado, let's get started. The app that I use is the podcast app that comes with the iPhone. I feel like it has a lot. It's just easier, quicker, better. So I'm going to divide my list into a few categories. I'm going to divide it into self-development, entertainment, and religious podcasts because those are the genres that I'm mostly into when it comes to podcasts. I do listen to a few entertainment here and there when I'm just trying to have like some downtime. Then I have the religious ones that help me understand my religion better, make me want to guide me into being a better Muslim and all that stuff, just educating me and stuff. And then there's the self-development one, the ones that help me want to be a better person, you know, money management, self-improvement, mental health and all that stuff. So I'm going to start with the religious ones because those are not that many because I have I know the ones that I like listen to a bunch and I've found the few that I really enjoy that I feel really like so the first one is called Quran for busy people it's called Quran for busy people so this podcast is basically explaining the Quran to you but like in more simple I guess the title like explains everything Quran for busy people it's just explaining the Quran to you in like a more simpler term like on the go just on your phone so they have very interesting topics that, that intertwine with modern issues so I really like that for example they have their Quranic secret to attract more money confidence in your natural state timeless wisdom how to let go of insecurity the law of effortless transformation innate well-being so they do have 55 episodes so far and they're very short they're six minutes five minutes ten minutes so they're very easy to digest quick to listen to so you don't feel like there's a lot of information coming out of a podcast so that's what i really like about this one the second one is i think my favorite one out of the two that i mentioned and it's called muslim central the reason why i like muslim central is because they have different speakers that i usually listen to like on youtube and everything they have talks that are like very different from each other if that makes sense so Yasmin Mugahed is on there Umar Suleiman is on there um, Numan Ali Khan who else is on here? Saeed Rage, Mufti Meng uh, Yasin Qadi, Abdurrahman al -Sutais. they have so many people and they all have like different topics so I'm going to show you guys the few that I like by Yasmin Mugahed so they all have like their own like segments within the podcast if that makes sense and they all have like their different talks different topics so if you're trying to find like a specific and I like this podcast because the speakers on here are very they're not too serious they crack a joke here there just to make the conversation light and you know fun and easy and I don't know I just it makes me feel comfortable. So the ones that I listen to by Yasmin Mugahed is The Spiritual Significance of Ramadan, The Pursuit of Happiness, How to Forgive and Heal, How Saving Others Can Save Ourselves, Muhammad the Eternal Illuminator, uh, How to Live a more fulfilling life podcasts are like from 30 minutes to like an hour and 30 minutes but i don't listen to the longer ones i don't listen to them like one day fully i just like listen to it like halfway or like a quarter and then go back to it another time i don't know where to place this one because i feel like it's more entertaining and so, sort of like re religious based but it's like more fun i don't know how to explain this but it's called hold my hijab absolutely love this podcast by K D. This, basically, this podcast is by two girls, two black hijabis trying to figure out their lives and just go through life being a Muslim woman. And they just share their struggles, their wins, their issues, like just everything they go through. And it's so fun and how it interwines with the deen and everything. So I really, really, really love this one. And I like that the fact that they're so funny, the way they explain things, they're so funny. For example, they talk about things like hijabi hair journey and haram police and prayed up. Eid interlude, pet peeves, halal hot girl summer. It's not really like religious based, but it's just like two Muslim girls in the modern age trying to figure out life being Muslim women. That's it for like my religious podcast. I've, tr I've listened to a few before, but I didn't like the mode of like communication so i never really stuck to them so those are the two that really stuck to me it's called quran for busy people and a muslim central so the next category here that we're going to go into is self-development so a few years ago i wasn't really that big on self-development i used to find it as a okay you know like that's weird and everything 
but I started appreciating like books and talks and podcasts on self development because I realized it like makes you conscious of like the things I do, the things I say. Are they making me a better person, or are they just making me be the way I am, or am I feeding into like a negative habit or like a negative trait that I have? I started getting into self development. I would say like a year ago, two years ago, and let me tell you that's like one of the best decisions I ever made because I learned to make better decisions for myself. I learned how to check myself. You know, I learned to be more responsible and more what's the word i'm looking for this word not responsible but i'm more accountable for myself for my decisions for my choices for my thoughts and everything so i feel like this is something very important we all need like trying to better ourselves and understand ourselves better like how our mind works how my body works what i want what i don't want and all that stuff and how to get to what i want like all that jazz so the first one i'm gonna start with is called the uncluttered life basically it's a podcast where basically it's a podcast where they talk about different stuff for example learning to stop how to judge others just basically how to improve yourself cultivating optimism and overcoming tragedy prioritizing your passion in life through grief was the first step after making a big decision a love story 40 years in the making be your own mad scientist sometimes i wouldn't even know there's something until i listen to that podcast and then i relate to it so much i don't know if i'm making sense right now okay but these podcasts help me a lot so there's the uncluttered life it's so entertaining the podcasts are like 15 to 30 minutes max sometimes they drag on to almost to like an hour 50 minutes but they're very quite interesting uh the second one i'm gonna talk about is called how i built this now this is by the guy raz i like this one because it's like an entrepreneurial 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 podcasts guy raz like interviews a bunch of like business owners from Chuck E. cheese to minted to spanx to shopify a lot of brand owners basically interviews them on why they chose that type of like brand to build like for example if it's food clothing uh tech whatever it is and you get to have an insight on how the brand came up the struggles they went through the process it took it's how long pr and how long it took and everything so i really like this podcast especially if you're into being an entrepreneur the next one that i really like is called optimal living daily another self-development podcast and it says they talk about a lot of stuff how to be rich living without limits 12 simple ideas to spread holiday cheer the art of the quit that one is really good actually i heard to it and just like eight minutes long the reason why i like this is they don't go past like 10 minutes to be honest all their podcasts are 10 minutes and below another one that i absolutely love is oprah super soy conversations this podcast is so amazing she talks with so many different entertainers like celebrities and they get raw, they get real, unfiltered. So I really like this podcast and she talks to so many people. She talked to Michelle Obama, who was one of my favorites. She talks to Dr. Phil. She talks to Channel Miller, Michael B. Jordan. So they just discuss a lot of different things. Another podcast that I really like is called Kayleen's Coffee Talk. I like this one because I feel like the podcaster, is that what you call them? Like the Kayleen, she, I feel like she we're in the same age group. So a lot of the issues that she discusses on her podcast, I easily relate to a lot of them. And she talks about so many things like we all wear masks. So basically she's just talking about how sometimes you wear a mask without knowing you're wearing a mask. Not like a physical mask, but like a mask, if that makes sense and she talks about it and it's so interesting and she talks about how to get shit done she talks about finding self-confidence she talks about how to be fearless and how to create real content she's a content creator on youtube as well that's why i find like i relate to her because we have so much in common and i just i really like her and her podcasts are very interesting very very interesting how to focus putting too much pressure on yourself let go of what no longer serves you so basically just self-development <laughs> i don't know how to explain this guys i feel like you should just go listen to them and then find what works with you or like what you relate to and then start listening to that so f most of the time i feel like with podcasts it's like a hit or miss because sometimes you don't really like the narrator or sometimes it's too serious so the next podcast i'm going to talk about is ted talks daily this one is very good because you guys know what ted talks about so they have like different speakers come on and share their story it's very interesting and i really like this one because they talk about a lot of stuff from health wealth everything in between so i really like this one i'm gonna stop it there because I'd probably do like an updated video one day but those are like my top self-development podcasts that I absolutely enjoy I don't listen to podcasts every single day by the way I just do them when I feel like I need that boost or I need that education if that makes sense so the next podcast I will be talking about oh my god I forgot one more before we move on to the next category one more that I absolutely 
love is called the millennial mastermind podcast by brad mulvey i really love this podcast i think i talked about it in like a favorites last year but it's so good he just he's so interesting his talks are very interesting and i don't know he has so many different people to come and like feature on the podcast i just really like this podcast he talks about how to be a moment maker to live life to the fullest to live life to the fullest cultivate the mindset to overcome failure how and why to create a vision for your life how to connect with high achievers basically he has like so many different people to come join him and they just talk about these topics and i find him so interesting it's this is probably one of my favorite podcasts as well so there so we're gonna move on to the next category and this is entertainment I don't listen to that much like entertaining podcasts just because I like my entertainment like visual if that makes sense so the only two that I have on here are like crime related podcasts okay disclaimer I I'm obsessed with like crime shows this is something I've been obsessed with for so many years and I really really love it so once I got tired of watching crime docs and everything I turned to podcasts and let me tell you it's so much fun because you're just on the go and the one that I absolutely actually really like is called Serial it's really good it's by This American Life and basically they talk about a lot they have so far they have like a few series like series one episode one two three four five it's like a tv shift that makes sense so they go through like solved and unsolved cases and they just talk about it everything from the crime scene, the suspects, to the trial, to just like everything involved. The next one that I have is called I Have Vanished. The Vanished, which is the same. It's just like a crime. It's just like a crime podcast. Absolutely love it. And I like variety because the cases are different. But those are third one I was supposed to get, but I didn't. But if I find it, I'll probably include it in an updated video. But that's it. Those are all the podcasts that I enjoy, that I have been enjoying for a year or so right now. And I absolutely love them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys give them a try. Let me know what you think. And if you guys have podcasts that you would like me to try and to listen to, you think that I would definitely enjoy, leave them down below in the comment section below. And I will definitely check them out so that everyone can check them out. So like, let's share each other's recommendations thank you so much for watching i can't wait for this year to be amazing i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye